it's a tight race for Georgia governor, tight as a tick. The two candidates neck and neck in a new Fox 5 opinion savvy poll. Less than 1% separates the two. Now, last night, Republican Brian Kemp and Democrat Stacey Abrams faced off in their first debate. Topics included jobs and health care. The two also traded jabs over the reported 53,000 voter applications on hold, 70% of which are minorities. So questions of debt have plagued both candidates for governor during this campaign. Uh, last night, our Fox 5 I team uncovered exclusive information about insider loan debt involving Brian Kemp's companies and a bank that he helped start. Tonight, senior I team reporter Del Russell is back and takes a look at the tax problems that Stacey Abrams has faced. Debt. That's right, Russ. Debt comes in many forms, as most of us face it at some time in our lives. And for Brian Kemp, it was mostly his company's business deals. But for Stacey Abrams, it was a combination of school loans, credit cards, and unpaid taxes. But she didn't even pay her own $54,000 tax bill. From the beginning of the governor's race, Stacey Abrams has faced questions and attacks about her finances, specifically her debt. More than $54,000 to the IRS and another $56,000 in credit card debt. I do have student loan debt. She told Fox 5 anchorman Russ Spencer the problem was student loans and taking care of her sick parents seen here in her campaign video and helping them financially as they raised a grandchild. And what I did was defer my tax payments because I could not defer my dad's cancer treatment payments. I can't defer keeping a roof over the head of my niece but I've never failed to meet every single obligation that I have. How serious is this in the campaign? I think it's pretty serious. Sarah Henderson, director of Good Government Group Common Cause, thinks a candidate running for governor has a responsibility to pay taxes on time, just like everyday citizens. Certainly the fact that she's making an effort to repay her taxes and on a payment plan, I think that that um, is important and good. But hey, we all go through hard times. I mean, this is, this is life. So she's certainly not uh, exempt from that. And I don't think that, you know, having a heartfelt story changes anything about her responsibilities. Abrams announced she's on a payment plan with the IRS to pay the debt down and slowly trying to erase her credit card debts. But it was still fodder for campaign attacks, especially when her campaign disclosure report showed she loaned her own campaign $50,000. So there's no insider deal. This is normal business practices. Last night, the Fox 5 I team told you how Brian Kemp and his companies borrowed more than $2 million in insider loans from a bank he helped start and sits on the board of directors. Those insider loans are legal, but highly regulated. Kemp's campaign team refused to discuss whether he got special privileges with those loans, which isn't permitted. And companies he co-owns still owe his bank more than $800,000. The latest debt exposed in the 2018 governor's race. It's absolutely should be a big deal to Georgia voters. They should be looking at this and saying, why do we have candidates running for governor, the highest office of the state, owing money in court, having these uh, debts hanging over their head? This is not what we should be expecting from our next governor. Now, we'd heard a lot about that payment plan to the IRS, so we asked Stacey Abrams to let us examine the payment plan for ourselves. The campaign shared it with me, but asked that we not show it on TV. I can tell you the plan appears as she has described it, and she has made monthly payments of $1,000 since early 2017. Sine Russ. All right, Dale, thank you.